When I left motor racing after McLaren's, uh, I, I took a sabbatical from motor racing period. Uh, I started doing construction. I was working up in Marin County. There was a company there called Phil Riley. What happened there was Parnelli Jones sent the first VPJ dihedral wing car up there to be re restored. That, it was all in parts. I really had a lot of respect for Maurice Philippe, the designer of the car, even though it wasn't a particularly successful car. I ended up restoring this car back to its original, uh, how it came out of the box when it first started to go to testing at Ontario Motor Speedway. My business partner, which is Bruce Marquand, we decided to start Classic Competition. Bruce, he's a very good test driver, a driving coach. He's an absolute fabulous mechanic and fabricator. We do restoration and we do track support and we do engineering. We've got like 10,000 square feet of storage and workshop space, fabrication shop and so forth. We pride ourselves on taking on the more difficult jobs. We did the black label car. We found uh, someone to scan the original Indy car, the one that Johnny Rutter won the first race in. With my knowledge of working on the car, it made it a little bit more easier to figure this out. It took about 18 months to do. There was four people working on it. It was a total team effort here. I did a lot of work on drawings for the monocoque. Bonner made the monocoque, uh, Mark Bonner. We had the skins, outer skins re-rolled. Anyway, it turned out really well, and that's what I say. We we did a Lotus 79, we, that was a few years ago. Um, I mean, there's lots of different hard projects that we try to do here. I was lucky enough to work with some of the really nice people in motor racing, and talented people in motor racing. Really, really good fabricators, like Joe Fukushima, Bill Eaton, and Leonard who works at T-Force now. I've worked with fabulous, really talented mechanics. I've worked with people like Bob Dance, Bob Sparshop. My life is just like a team effort. You see Ron Dennis and the Colin Chapmans, but there's lots of people involved with this stuff. It's not one person, it's all people giving their 110%. There are so many talented people out there that I, I owe a lot of this to them.